Unmasking the Wolf, Don Emilio Barzini, The Godfather's Master Manipulator. The Godfather, Francis Ford Coppola's cinematic masterpiece, is a world of shadowy figures, each vying for control and power. Yet, amidst the ruthless gangsters and volatile personalities, one figure stands out as the true puppet master Don Emilio Barzini. Known as the Wolf, Barzini is a man of immense cunning, cloaked in an air of deceptive civility. While Vito Corleone exudes a benevolent, old-world charm, Barzini operates from within the shadows. His power is not in flashy displays of violence, but in subtle manipulation and carefully calculated moves. He understands the levers of influence and knows precisely how to pull them to orchestrate events in his favor. Barzini's Rise to Power Barzini is the head of one of the infamous five families of New York. Although the Corleones arguably hold more power initially, Barzini is a formidable force. His empire spans narcotics, gambling, and prostitution, allowing him to amass vast wealth and sway. But Barzini's ambitions don't stop there. His ultimate goal is to break the Corleone stronghold and dominate the underworld of New York City. His strategy is as calculated as it is ruthless. Barzini knows that a direct confrontation with the Corleones would be a bloody, protracted war. Instead, he chooses the path of subversion. Barzini recognizes that the key to breaking the Corleones lies in sowing discord, manipulating their allies, and waiting for the perfect time to strike. Playing the long game. Barzini's first act is the shrewd manipulation of Virgil, the Turk, Salazzo. Understanding Salazzo's ambition, Barzini sees him as the perfect pawn to destabilize the Corleone Empire. The lucrative narcotics trade hangs in the balance, and Salazzo proposes a partnership with the Corleones to secure financing and Vito Corleone's political protection. Barzini knows that Vito, with his old-school values, will vehemently reject the drug business. He is correct. By subtly orchestrating this encounter, he sets in motion a series of events that will lead to all-out war between the families. With the Corleones vulnerable after the assassination attempt on Don Vito, Barzini seizes the opportunity to align himself with the other families. He fans the flames of their discontent toward the Corleones and solidifies their opposition. He knows that their combined strength will be far more formidable than facing Vito Corleone alone. It's a testament to his ability to read the undercurrents of power and exploit the weaknesses of his rivals. A Master of Deception one of the most striking aspects of Barzini's character is his ability to feign cooperation and civility. During the meeting of the five families, he masks his ambition behind a facade of reasonableness and a desire for peace. Of course, this is all a charade. In reality, his intentions are entirely self-serving, and he's carefully laying the groundwork for the final assault on the Corleones. In the end, Barzini's intricate schemes pay off. Sonny Corleone, the impulsive and hot-headed heir, falls victim to Barzini's carefully laid trap, ending up brutally gunned down at a highway tollbooth. With Sonny dead, the Corleones lose their most formidable enforcer, leaving the family exposed. The Wolf's Demise However, Barzini's triumph proves short-lived. He underestimates the quiet determination of Michael Corleone. Having inherited his father's mantle, Michael moves with swift and brutal efficiency. In a single, bloody stroke, all the heads of the five families, including Barzini, are eliminated. It's a testament to the enduring power of the Corleone family, and a stark reminder that even the most cunning players can be undone by their own ambition. Don Emilio Barzini is one of the most compelling figures in The Godfather. He represents a different kind of power, not the brute force and intimidation of figures like Sonny Corleone, but a power born of intelligence, strategy, and the ruthless pursuit of self-interest. Barzini reminds us that in the cutthroat world of the Mafia, brains can be just as deadly as bullets. Are you a fan of classic cinema and thrilling gangster stories? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting movie analyses and insights.